hello everyone and welcome back to working with ken so in today's video we are going to be looking at one of the best osin tools called maltigo now maltigo has been around for like many many years but uh, it gets overlooked a few times and uh, maltigo is literally one of the best if you uh, you know if you get used to it i i will say it's the best tool for you for your osin investigations so to install Maltigo in your system, you can also download Maltigo on your Windows system too. Just visit the Maltigo website and just type here sudo apt install and then type Maltigo. Okay. If you haven't installed Maltigo on your Kali and ParaOS, this is how you can do it. In Windows, you uh, have to download the exe file or setup. So uh, all you need to do is type in Maltigo. Uh, Maltigo is really a unique tool, so you won't find anything else so just uh, go to google and type maltigo we will see the results in a couple of seconds uh okay after that uh just go to the maltigo website malti or you can type the maltigo.com should have gone with maltigo.com okay uh in here you can say download you can go for download maltigo and also you need an account when you download maltigo so create an account first and then download maltigo later so uh, a minimum of 4 GB RAM is required, 4 GB of space is required, and uh, a mouse is recommended for navigating through uh, Maltigo graphs. So, I mean, just type in the Maltigo or just uh, go here and type in the Windows and then you can download it. So, uh, after that, create an account. Uh, here we go, I guess. Uh, just click on get quote or whatever. Uh, it, you, will, you will be prompted to create an account okay when you're created an account just uh, search here maltigo okay just open up maltigo for the first time the interface will look like this maltigo can take some time to load so be patient with it okay it uh, it will take time to start up the modules and all the you know settings that it need to work very well so this is how maltigo looks like on Kali linux if you install on windows it will probably look different so I uh, don't just uh, start in the comments that your Maltigo looks different than mine. What the hell? Um, it's not me. It's the operating system stuff. Okay. Now Maltigo has fully loaded and uh, here we go. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, maybe I installed it uh, many time ago, uh, like a few years ago. And uh, I haven't, uh, you know, uninstalled it. So I guess I won't be prompted with a login form. But you will be prompted with a login form. So just choose the free feature. Just scroll down in Maltigo. When you will be prompted, you will be uh, given few options to choose Maltigo, you know, um, what Maltigo you want to be. Just select the community edition one. It's free. Then you'll be prompted with the login and then type in your credentials there and the, solve the captcha and you will be in maltigo just like this so this is how you need to set up maltigo and i will explain everything that is here also uh maltigo works with transformers transformers are like you know extra features that we need to conduct our investigations like really well so as you can see we need to select all data breaches uh, company data personal identities phishing recon everything and maltigo is really good so i will say install maltigo and then in in the next videos we will get our hands on spiderfoot and maltigo we will conduct uh, all send investigations on uh, companies on missing persons using maltigo and spiderfoot so this is all for today and i will see you guys in the next video